Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Jed Fish, the Washington Huskies, land a massive commitment in the 2026 class and top 100 national player Ansu Sanoa from the state of Oregon. And a few things that stand out to me about this commitment. One, I mean, this is what you brought Jed Fish in. And this is, quite frankly, what you didn't see from Kalen DeBoer's winning out for some of these top prospects in the Pacific Northwest. You go into the state of Oregon, land the number one prospect in the state, Jed Fish. I think a lot of Washington fans are really excited about what he can do on the recruiting trail. And you start talking about Ansu, Ansu Sanoa. This is a guy that kind of reminds you of Jonah Coleman coming in for the Washington Huskies at that running back spot, 6'1", up to 220 pounds. And when you turn on the film, this is a physical running back that really fits what the Big Ten landscape is all about. If you have questions about Washington coming to the Big Ten, it might have to be around the physicality of this team. Ansu Sanoa answers some of those questions from a physicality standpoint. I want to get into his film, talk a little bit about what he brings to this Washington offense. But another massive get for Jed Fish and this Washington Huskies program before we get into it, as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it is going to be a very busy next couple of weeks for the Washington Huskies. With that second portal window opening up, we've been kind of saying all along, that is when Jed Fish is going to get to work with this Washington roster. We are going to update you guys as much as possible with what Jed Fish, the Washington Huskies, are doing in the transfer portal but without further ado, let's get into Ansu Sanoa. And this is a guy that, again, in the 2026 class, you're not going to see many sophomores in high school put the kind of film out that Ansu Sanoa puts out. This is a guy that not necessarily the blazer in terms of a straight line running back. He certainly has some wheels. But what he blends is not only extreme physicality at that running back position. Again, we're going to take a look at his most recent film, which is him as a sophomore in high school. But the short area quickness, the ability to have nice shake at the second level, that's really what stands out to me about Ansu Sanoa. And again, you look at Washington going to the Big Ten, you want to be physical, you want to be able to run the football. A guy like Ansu Sanoa, very similar to the kind of running back they brought in with Jonah Coleman, adds that physicality in this rushing attack for the Washington Huskies. And again, Washington going to the state of Oregon. And beating out on and not beating out not only Oregon, Oregon State, a lot of those Pacific Northwest schools, but beating out most programs in the country who have offered Ansu Sanoa a massive win. And for Washington Husky fans, kind of you hope that you kind of see these wins in the future. Again, the frustrating part about Kalen DeBoer's tenure at Washington, they won a lot of football games. You never really saw those wins manifest on the recruiting trail. You hope Jed Fish can kind of change that, getting into Ansu Sanoa's film. And again, as a sophomore in high school, you don't see many more physical running backs than Ansu. And again, a guy that can make it happen in open space. I kind of say he's a physical running back that wants to operate between the tackles. But don't get me wrong, one, really, really nice ability to make people miss at the second level. And yeah, 6'1", 220 pounds, has some nice breakaway speed as well. But as you keep watching the film, a couple of things really jump out. One, it's short area quickness we saw in that first rep. The contact balance. And this is a guy that, again, similar to Jonah Coleman, we talked about having almost five yards per carry after contact. A guy like Ansu can absorb contact, run through tacklers with relative ease. And he's already really physically developed. I think if you're a Washington fan, you're really excited to see, all right, what does this kid look like? By the time he gets to Washington as a freshman, to me, this is a guy that can be a bell cow in this Washington offense. You see a little flashes as a pass catcher as well. Really thick lower half. And again, you see a combination of a lot of different things that you like. His ability to operate in space and have those short area quickness and to make people miss in space, that's something that stands out. And then the frame, guys who are trying to tackle him. I mean, this is a guy that is just kind of overwhelming from a physicality standpoint. Blocking out in space. I don't think there's a question about Ansu Sanoa getting it done on the block in the, in the blocking department, you should say. And you continue to watch the film, and he continues to flash all sorts of different ways. Again, making people miss in a phone booth, running through tackles, absorbing contact. And when it is time to put on and turn on the Jets, 
Minasu Sanoa, he has some breakaway speed, which is very attractive as well. This is a massive get for the Washington Huskies. And more than just Ansu Sanoa being a phenomenal player coming to the Washington Huskies, what I want to focus on is, I mean, seeing Washington with Jed Fish be able to muster as much kind of excitement as they have on the recruiting trail. This is a program that very seldomly beat out the Oregon Ducks for a lot of these top recruits from the West Coast. And I mean, within the first couple months of Jet Fish getting there, getting to work on a guy like Ansu Sanoa, I think what you're most excited for is, can we kind of see that become a trend for Washington? I look at this Washington program and say, there's a lot of meat left on the bone in terms of how they were recruiting under Kalen DeBoer with all those wins. Again, never really seemed to recruit the level of what the, the play on the field was. I think Jed Fish is looking at this Washington program and saying, why can't we recruit consistently at a top 15 level? You check off all the boxes, player development. You check off competing for national championships. We just saw that program compete for national championship last year. I think for Washington fans, what you're most excited about is not only has Jed Fish shown his coaching chops, right? Turning around that Arizona program, that is a program that is not easy to win a lot of football games. Jed Fish showed that. But if he can kind of parlay the success on the field and has he shown as a coach on through the recruiting trail, and I think that's how you unlock this Washington program as being a perennial national championship caliber team. These are the type of recruitments that Jed Fish needs to win. Massive win for Ansu Snow. Again, going to be an extremely busy, busy next couple of weeks for the Washington Huskies. We kind of said Jed Fish got to Washington very late on in that transfer portal process. They didn't really get an opportunity to dig into that transfer portal during that first window. That second window opening up on April 15th, I think we expect Jed Fish to get awfully busy. We will key continue to break down the commitments for the Washington Huskies. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas again. All the support really does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.